going to start with the Brandon right here. It's going to be head-to-head -head competition. And as we get ready to start, TP Cattle Company, you're going to be on the west. Sterling Ranches, you are going to be on the right side. When we get ready to go here, ladies and gentlemen, we get down to about that third team, we're going to have to have a dummy run, which means we're going to need some of you in here. All right, teams, right on in. We're going to remind you that we want things to go smooth. We need it to keep rolling right along. So as we're called, just come right in. You can get set up. Right now, we're going to go with TP Cattle Company. They're going to be west. Sterling Ranches, they're going to be east. Nutrition Plus and B Slash Ranch, DNL Feed Yard, be thinking about it. Up here today, ladies and gentlemen, Tay Jeffords is going to be playing a little music. we got our secretaries, got our timers. We also have the one and only Randy Whipple. They call him the Whip. He's going to be my left-hand man. Some people have a right-hand man. Randy's not that good. He's got to stay on the left. But he does have a lot of jokes, and jokes are what we're here for. So we'll see what happens. All right, we're gonna go down here to the Brandon Pen, as those of you know, every fall or every spring, just depending on how things go. We're gonna bring the cows in, strip them off, get the calves, we're gonna bring the calves to the fire, we're gonna brand them, castrate them, give them a shot, whatever it takes, and then send them back to their mamas. It's the quickest way to get it done. There's a lot of finger smashing devices out there that you can use, but having a good crew like these youngsters right here, well, it's probably a better way to do it. And it's dang sure better on them kids. So. We'll just watch right here as they step up. Most of them been doing it their whole lives since they were big enough to hold a shotgun or run any kind of worm spray or any of that. These guys were a and girls were able to get it done. So we'll get started here. And when we do, it is going to be TP Cattle Company and Sterling Ranches. We want to say thank you to Casey Pope Saddles, Cool Horse, Oliver's Saddle, Tui Event Supply, and the Happy Toy Maker. Jerry Sims over there. Sunbelt Reynolds, Benito Cinch Company. I'm not sure who's built Cinch, but it must have been Randy. Rope Your Style, Ginger Mears, JG, JJ Barbecue, Pep, 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 Pep Teals. Shouldn't that be Pep? That's, well, again, I'm not sure who wrote up. I'm going to just blame you. It was, it was either you or Lane Province. That's all I can tell you. All right. We do want to thank Lane and Randy and the whole crew for all they've done to put this on. Lehman Wall's on hand down there at the WRCA, as is Peyton. Casey will probably be here later. If you have any information that you need from the WRCA, if you can't find those guys and get it from, check out www.wrca.org. WRCA is the sanctioning body of this great event, and we're trying for the birth, the WRCA finals. Randy's up here laughing at his own jokes. <laughs> <laughs> hasn't even started yet. All right. Yeah. <laughs> David, Liz, and Claire are the ones taking photos down there professionally. Our friend Dusty Rains is here as well, CaptiveImages.us. He is a video documentarian. Did you didn't even know I could say that word, did you? Exactly. I know. That's why I could say it, because it's not spelled right. All right, kids, good luck to you. Whether it be you good, yeah, we're waiting on you. All right. Like a dollar waiting on a dime right there, Lehman Wall. Them kids have been sitting on go since 5.30 this morning. All right, we're off and rolling right here on the left side. That's going to be the TP Cattle Company. It could be my left side. On the right, it is the crew from Sterling Ranchers. One of these teams is going to get a berth to the World Championships. That's going to be in November, November 9th through the 12th, I believe, this year. Come down there and join us for that. Myself, Bob Tallman, Randy Whipple, we're going to be on the microphone. <laughs> oh, Randy just said he ain't going to be. Me and Bob, sounds like. All right, working down here. Got one caught and done. Sterling comes in with a 30 and 88. 30 and 88. They've just got to rope one. TP's looking for their first one. So there are no rules that say you can't continue to compete if you've already qualified. And I will tell you, the team that has the 30 and 88 right now, Sterling Ranchers, they've already qualified for the World Championships. So were they win, 
to win today, then the second place team would be the qualifier. That's how that works. So we'll see what happens right here as we watch TP try to finish up. There is a two minute time limit. 30 seconds remaining in their run. Now as we watch these youngsters, you gotta remember that most of the time they're gonna ride in. They ain't gonna miss one over the course of the whole day at a fire or at the brand. And But when you add a time clock and all your peers standing around watching you, well, that makes it a little tougher. And unfortunately, the time clock is clicking by. The rope's getting a little tougher to rebuild. The loop's getting tougher to find. And that nasty sound simply means that we're going to have to give TP Cattle Company no time. Hate to see that. But you can give a nice round of applause. That's all they're going to get as we finish up that run. So Sterling Ranches comes in with a 3088. That sets the bar high for everybody else. We're going to go down to the Nutrition Plus. They're going to be on the west side. B slash ranch, GNL feed yard, they're gonna be on the east side. C3 Cattle Company, you're gonna be up next, but we're gonna need somebody to run a dummy run with them. Right now we're looking for Nutrition Plus and B slash ranch, GNL feed yard. All right, August Johnson down there flags and says we're off and going. And in the famous words of Ricky Bobby, if you ain't first, you're last, so you just will get on it. Shake and bake, baby, shake and bake. Hey, what do you call an angry carrot? A steamed veggie. <laughs> Those are just terrible. <laughs> Hey, Layman, you know why you shouldn't use a broken pencil? Because it's pointless. All right, it's B Slash and GNL Feed Yard, 43 and... I'm sorry, 44.51. And Nutrition Plus trying to finish up on the west side. <laughs> C3 Cattle Company, we need you to the Brandon side. C3 Cattle Company, make your way down there ASAP. You're going to be up next. We will get a team ready for you as well. On the other side, looks like we're about to get the last one done for the Nutrition Plus crew. Evidently, Nutrition Plus needs to add a little Wheaties into their regiment in the morning. Because they may have enough nutrition, but they ain't got enough oomph in their, in their pencil. Speaking of pencils, oh, 30 seconds remaining. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Get them, Brandon. Get back over there. Get back and put it in the fire. Hurry, young man. Go, 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 go. There you go. You ain't never heard that before, have you? 158 and 27, just by the hair on your chinny chin chin, they made it in. Hey, do you know, you kids know why you can't hear a pterodactyl going to the bathroom? Because the P is silent. <laughs> I am, I'm going to use these at the World Championships. <laughs> All right. So they, they make me laugh. That's the main thing. C3 Cattle Company, they've already qualified. They're down there rolling. They're on the left side. They're on the west side. They've got a little dummy run going against them right there on the other side. After them, let's go to the Rimrock Ranch and the Loving Ranch. They're going to be on deck. And then the final team to go will be Blue Creek Cattle Company and California Creek. Right now we're watching as C3 tries to give another win. They've already qualified, which means they are going to be headed to the World Championships. And if you haven't seen the World Championship Youth Ranch Rodeo, I'm going to tell you what, you are missing out. One of the greatest events not only have I ever been able to see, but to be a part of and announce. And I have announced a lot of great events. That is one of the funnest that I get to do. 
All right, looks like they've got him across the line right there. They can't touch the cap till he's across that white line, but then they hold him down. Here comes the brander. Gets a nice brand on him. Gets it back in, and we're good right there. C3 comes in with a time of 52.02. 52.02. All right. 3088 for Sterling Ranch is still the top spot. Let's go to the Rimrock Ranch. Rimrock, you're going to be on the west side. Loving Ranch, you're going to be on the east side. Say thank you to Oliver Saddle Shop for presenting the sponsorship of the West Texas Ranch Rodeo, along with all of our great sponsors. Don't forget, when you're out doing business, do business with those who take care of this great rodeo and this great rodeo way of life. Speaking of taking care of folks, Jerry, the happy toy maker, has been taking care of cow kids for as long as there's been cow kids. And Jerry's over there and he has set up, I think he brought his whole warehouse and then some. So make sure you go over there and talk to him. And if you need something, by golly, if he don't have it, he can make it. If he can't make it, you don't need it. Looking sharp right here's the right end. Good set of cattle in the pen for these guys. Pretty good crowd out there this morning. Lots of parents, grandparents, folks watching rodeo. Trying to get it done right here. Reach down, got a hold of him. Got to be careful. Can't lope in that herd. Oh, Blackie's saddle might be just a tad loose. Cowboy yeah, gets himself right and put right back in the middle of it, and he's okay. So it looks like we're going to be good for the Rimrock Ranch. It's going to be a time of 103 and 77. 103 and 77. The Loving Ranch is going to try to finish it out for us right here. Thirty seconds, thirty seconds remaining on the Loving Ranch. Oh man, a little trouble right here as they are not having a lot of luck getting that one caught. And that terrible sound right there means we're going to have to give them a no time. We hate to see that. So, so far, 30 and 88 for Sterling Ranch is going to be the top spot. 44 and 51 by the B Slash and the GNL Feed Yard Crew. That's second. 56 and 2 by the C3. That's third. But two teams left to go. Right now, let's go to the Blue Creek Cattle Company. They're going to be up in California Creek Cattle Company. They are on the east side. So our photographers down there getting the candid shots. There's one of them youngsters we talked about right down there. Getting some help and some last minute advice from one of our judges. And they ride in. They've got to be careful as we talked about. The one thing is that all the rules apply no matter what you're doing. We've got to make sure that our cowboy rules are in effect. We take care of these cattle, we take care of our horses, and that's the most important thing. We've got to take care of our family members and our team members, but we're cowboys first, and cowboys is what we do. Hey, that young man down there in the blue shirt, Brandon, right there, that boy's got speed. I'm going to tell you what, boy on the right side from California Creek, he ain't afraid to get it done. California Creek comes in with the time. Woo! Talk about being fast. 22-28 for the California Creek crew. That moves them to the top of the uh, leaderboard. On the other side, Blue Creek comes in with a time of... 26-6. And it's going to be a 36-6. Going to put those guys about third unofficially. 
All right, good work, everybody. We're going to go right here just like this. Here's the top three unofficially. First place is going to go to California Creek Cattle Company with the 22 and 28. Second is going to be 30 and 88 with Sterling Ranches unofficially. Third is going to be 36 and 60. All right, everybody pay attention. Ripple. 